Despite the solid gains, today's stock markets in Greater China have lately been weighed down by geopolitical and economic risks. Now, CNA spoke exclusively to Nicholas Agusin. He is CEO of Hong Kong Exchanges and Clearing. He told me earlier that in the face of challenges, HKX is focused on placing Hong Kong and China as a key connector for investments between the East and the West. I'm very encouraged by some of the um, events overnight uh, when and the meeting uh, between President Xi and President Biden, whereby we, we, we see that there is dialogue. I think that is, that is very, very positive. I, I do not believe that it's in anyone's interest to have a decoupling between East and West. And, and, and what we're trying to do is to make sure that investors understand the merit of investing in this part of the world. Similarly, we also want to encourage investors you know, from Asia, from China, to be looking at opportunities all around the world. We have a vibrant ETF environment whereby Chinese investors can take advantage of opportunities in, in, in other places. And, 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 and there are a lot of initiatives around many of our products whereby we, we, we are presenting an ecosystem of products that, that allows more interaction. And the more interaction, the more connectivity that we have, the better for the whole world. Would you say there's been a souring of sentiment towards China? I mean, it used to be that uh, Chinese companies came to Hong Kong to attract international capital, and international capital came to Hong Kong for these Chinese companies. Mm. Has that changed? Yeah, still in, in our market, about 75%, for example, in the derivatives market, about 75% of our market is international. That's a big proportion. It's about half, a little under half of the, the cash market. So I would say that international participation is, is a critical component of, of our market. Um, as, as to listed companies, we have 200 co international listed companies, including just over 100 that are from Southeast Asia that are listed in our market. So that's still you know, an area of, um, of, of interest and, and, and growth. We think there are many great opportunities for the future. When we look at the capital markets of China, we see a great opportunity of growth. I mean, right now, capital markets domestically are about 30 trillion US dollars. That should grow to over 100 trillion in the next 10 years. And as that happens, it will create a lot of opportunities for financial participants. And for that reason is that we see more than 80% of the top, financial top 100 financial institutions in the world have a base in Hong Kong.